Hi everybody, Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a project to share for W plus nine and it's featuring the new home stamp set along with the coordinating dies. I also use a couple of other new products from their latest release, but here is the new home stamp set in all her glory. And I love architectural designs. This one's fabulous. I couldn't wait to ink it up and make a front door card. So I'm inking up almost every one of the images in the stamp set I'm using Versifying onyx black ink and stamping onto Bristol paper because I'm going to color my images with Zig Clean Color markers. So, but before I start coloring, I did a little research to get some inspiration and I fell in love with this red door. I love a good red door. We actually have double doors on the front of our house and they're oak. So I would never have the guts to paint them. That would actually break my husband's heart if I painted our oak doors. But I'm very conservative, almost chicken with color and home decor, but I love color when I see other people do it. Just not sure I have the guts to do it. So I only have the 24 pack of Zig Clean Color Markers. So this is the reddest marker I have and it's Carmine Red. It actually turned out to be a lot more pink than what I had in mind, but I'm just gonna go with the flow. And so I'm scribbling on some more uh, colors of Zig Clean Color Markers. And I'm using this Waffle Flower Crafts Water Media Mat, which works beautifully for this type of medium. And I wasn't going for a real precise look. As you can tell, I wanted a washy watercolor look. So I'm coloring them very loosely. I think you could get really good results no matter what type of medium you use. Generally, I pick up my Copics first, but I'm on a Zig Clean Color Kick right now because it's so effortless. It's just, you just wash it on. You know, it's not so precise. So now I'm gonna take the new home coordinating dies. I'm gonna die cut all these images out off camera. While I do that, I'm gonna take this wood planks stamp set and add some wood and some siding to the background. So this is like a wood, it's gonna be like a wooden porch. Again, I'm inking that up with Versifying Onyx Black ink and stamping on Bristol. And now this just solid stripe, which is also from the wood plank stamp set, is gonna be like where the wall meets the porch. And I'm gonna take that same stamp set and I'm using one of those misty creative corners to line up my stamp. And this is how I'll get even spacing. Once I stamp it, I don't move the stamp. I slip in my creative corner and I slide the panel down. So you move the panel, not the stamp. And if you keep track of your measurements, then you can evenly space it all the way down the card. You following me on that? So you just have to keep track of your measurements. I'm doing about, it's not even an inch, but around that, stamp it all the way down. It's gonna be like, cedar siding or wood siding. I don't know, some type of siding. What am I, a construction guy? I don't know what kind of siding, but uh, it's just like siding. And then I'm gonna color these with the Zig Clean Color Markers again. So I'm taking a mixture of brown and gray to get a nice earthy wooden color. So I don't think that Bristol paper is really designed for wet medium, but I've been using it as such. But you know, usually I'm coloring just small little images. And, but now this whole entire background panel is getting painted. So she's getting a little on the wet side, getting a little on the warpy side, which I don't know if I would have, I think watercolor paper would have warped as well. You're just gonna have to set it under something heavy to flatten it out. I even sometimes run it through a die cutting machine with cardstock on both sides to protect it, but it'll help flatten it out. And then now I'm stamping the welcome onto the uh, welcome mat. I'm gonna get the lay of the land here with the images because I'm gonna stamp a sentiment. Uh, this big welcome here that I fell in love with. This is from the Welcome Wreath stamp set. I'm stamping that right onto the front door and it's gonna be a welcome to the neighborhood card. We actually just had some neighbors move in right next door. So this will come in handy and now that I think about it, probably would have been cool to make this card the same colors as their house, but. I didn't think of that. And plus I fell in love with the red door. And so now I'm adhering the images all together on this card. Some are getting popped up. Some are just adhered flat. Popping up the wreath on the front door. And now I'm adhering these plants to their pots. And I would love 
to have some pretty topiaries like this on the side of my front door. That would be so cool. I don't have any plants. I got more like a sporting goods store going on on our front porch. We've got a couple pairs of rollerblades, a few soccer cleats, a couple hockey sticks, maybe a random bike. You just never know. It's it, so no plants and no topiaries. They get run over. But now I'm embossing a coordinating sentiment from the welcome wreath, embossing that in white on a strip of black cardstock. And then I'll pop that up right underneath the welcome. And this card is finished. I mean, I love it. I love it. I love a good front door card and this will be perfect for the neighbors. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure and check out the W plus nine new release. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.